Hey, Big Rat, 310, back over here. Okay, I know you guys are probably getting sick of me. I think, honestly, this might have been my 15th video in the week, and it's not my fault, you know, the, the damn quick, quick capture, quick capture, yay! Thing kind of messed up everything for me. I'm gonna try and not, you know, go overload on the quick master thing, but I have a quick capture thing. But I have a, this, what Spirit had said kind of pissed me off. Okay, first of all, sorry about that. This guy um, just opened himself up. Sorry, I was gonna watch how I met your mother on the computer before I, before I decided to make this vid. Okay, um, so what Spitter had said pissed me off because he first he says, Cena Edge Big Show's about comedy. Yes, maybe it is towards the comedy side, but Spitter, you're not realizing the end. The end justifies the means. Yes, John Cena's being really fun. You keep saying, why is John Cena being so funny? Why are they focused on the gay relationship? This is a prediction. And in my predictions video, I was not going to go through with it. I know I said before it was a theory, but I'm going to predict it to happen. Um, I know it sounds really crazy. I'm going to get a lot of nasty comments for it. But like I said, I was gonna, I said before it's a theory. Now it actually might turn into a prediction. Get this. Especially since I got a question about it. John Cena turning heel. Yes. Because <gasps> if you guys ever stopped and used your brain for five seconds, what if Cena wins this match? Then what would Vicky Guerrero do? How would she choose between Edge and Big Show? How about she choose a Cena? How about it's the art of the magician making the audience look where they're not supposed to. Keeping us all focused on the Edge and Big Show thing that we don't even realize the Cena. What if Vicky turns on Edge and Big Show and joins forces with Cena at the end of Mania? That makes Cena turn heel. That makes Vicky pick her lover who wasn't Edge and Big Show. And that makes us all not expect it because Cena's been this funny guy who tries to make fun of people every week. I know it's a little far-fetched, but I think it could actually be pulled off. When you really think about it, Cena's been cracking jokes. Do this and that. First of all, before I get back into this, if that storyline isn't true, Spinternet, that's John Cena. John Cena's always been the funny guy. Oh, but last year, the year before WrestleMania, he wasn't Mr. Funny Guy. Well, you know what's been in it? He, he's funny some of the times. He's funny all the times. Uh, his, his match with Big Show. Uh, even my, his feud with Jericho. Even his feud with Jericho, which we all thought was pretty serious. Like, his match with Armageddon, which we all thought was be pretty... Boom, 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 boom. Like, serious. Cena's mad that Jericho kept fighting. No, Cena was cracking jokes the whole... Freaking time. I remember he cut a promo about how Cena's bulldog watches Chris Jericho and doesn't watch John Cena. So now Cena's gonna have to put his bulldog to sleep because he doesn't love him. Wah, wah. That's exactly what he said. That's comedy. That's John Cena. John Cena even against Triple H. I've heard him say in promos, yeah, yeah, you got a big nose, man. You can try hard, man, but you can't do it. Ah! Did he do it a lot last year? Some yes, yeah, some no. He did kinda in some parts of it. But because that's John Cena's character. He is, he portrays this regular funny guy that the fans like. So it's not that it's pure comedy. That's just who he is. And I think that it's going to be a swerve on us. Let's get back to this. That he might swerve us. It is who he is. But I think he, he's taking it a little, he's upping it up a little. And plus the whole Edge Vicky thing. I think actually that he might be the one that wins the title and ends up with Vicky at the end of Mania. And John Cena might turn heel for the first time ever. Maybe he might not even join up with Vicky. Maybe he just, maybe Vicky says, I don't want to be with Edge and Big Show anymore. I don't think that's her Vicky face and saying, you know, I don't want to be with Edge and Big Show, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help Cena win. I think that's going to be more like, C C Cena will tell Vicky, I don't want your love, but I need your help. Help me win. I know these, you're going crazy over these guys. And don't pick them at all. Don't pick either one. It's crazy, but it could work. And I, I believe it could happen. So I think that we're going a little overboard with this Edge Cena Big Show. I think it's going to be a good match for one. We thought that the Kali, Kane, Batista match would fucking suck at the Great American Match 2006. Or, no, 2007. Albeit, it wasn't perfect. I enjoyed the match. I would have given the match three and a quarter stars. Because I enjoy triple threat matches. There's not one triple threat match that I've seen that I don't like. They just, they work really well together. They know how to, how to, uh, there's a lot of drama. You see, sometimes you see a feel, uh, a heel and a face, which sometimes does happen in wrestling. Triple, triple starts never bore me. 
And that match was good. Like I said, would have given it three and a quarter stars. I know it seems a little high, but I thought it was good. Not to mention, Kali was out for most of the match. She didn't even see him. But still, it was a good match. Just like I think with this match. And you got Cena, who I think is a great wrestler. I think Edge is a phenomenal top-tier wrestler. And I think Big Show can pull up a good match. Everyone thought that Big Show, uh, Floyd Mayweather would suck last year. I enjoyed it. I, I liked it. It didn't bother me. Um, also, the Matt and Jeff... Stop thinking that Matt is the jealous brother. I know that's what we thought at first, but now I just try to think of... I'm th I don't portray Matt as the jealous brother. Now I portray Matt as the insane, demented brother who goes crazy because of his jealousy of Matt Hardy. That's the poetic justice. He's so jealous that he doesn't even show jealousy. He shows insanity. And you guys, at first I said, yes, this can be compared to Owen and Brad, but you can't do it anymore. This is just a completely different feud now. Matt has gone crazy because of his jealousy. That's the poetic reasoning behind this feud. And that's why I like it so much. Uh, albeit, I, I don't know, their promo... I thought Jeff's promo on SmackDown was pretty good. I don't think... I, I, I think Jeff deserve, gets a little t too much criticism. Everyone in the IWC criticizes a lot for, like, no reason. Yeah, everyone criticizes Jeff saying he's a, he's a poor wrestler and poor on the mic. I disagree with the poor wrestler because he entertains me. And if you entertain me, you're a good wrestler. In, in a wrestling role, like not if you eat pies all day, if you like entertain me in a wrestling match, you're a good wrestler. If you weren't carried, if you weren't carried, then yes. And I think his mic skills are pretty good. I mean, I mean, not, not good, but like they're not bad. Why do people his his promos, his demented promos in Survivor Series Armageddon of last year were great, and that's what he did on SmackDown. And I see a lot of people say, "Bitching, Jeff's not his old, Jeff's not his old self." For one, dumbasses. Jeff's old self is not the demented dumb is not the demented guy. You guys are just idiots for thinking that. Jeff, that guy, the demented guy that everyone loved, he's still here. That Je the Jeff's promo. Look at Jeff's promo get on SmackDown. It's the exact same person. I guarantee that. Matt Hardy has gone insane because of his jealousy. That's how it is. That's how that feud is going. Whether you guys like it or not. Okay, Spinner, I don't want to get too much into it. I gotta go, I gotta go see that movie. I'm gonna come home. I'm I'm going to give you guys a review. Once again, give me a suggestion. Any suggestion of any movie. I mean, of, of anything you want me to talk about. Because I can't just do a movie review. Just, just be a little sidebar. Big rat. 3, 10, out. Peace.